A one in 10 small businesses is veteran owned, but making the transition from the structured world of the military to the more improvisational one of private enterprise can be a challenge. Nina Gosowski tells us how a few good men and women were able to do it. We went up and down a highway, inspecting the roads, seeing if there was anything out of the ordinary. Army Sergeant Raymond Kayaso went from helping clear improvised explosive devices from Afghanistan's roads to trying to navigate another territory, also foreign to him, the business world. So just like in war, it's completely unknown. He founded a company called Film Link Up. I can send messages to different people. It's meant to be a social media platform for students in film, media and theater. Our main focus is connecting the students with who they need to be part of their crew and those production companies that need their assistance with their media and film projects. I think the hardest part has been continuing to navigate in a sea of the unknown. But for Raymond's and over a dozen other veteran startups, navigating those unknowns was made easier with the help of people like Brock Bassan. They have the technical skills and they have those capabilities. A former military prosecutor himself, who now gives legal advice pro bono to veterans who want to start their own business through his New York-based law firm, Cahill, Gordon and Rydell. We're there to bridge that gap in terms of the, uh, of the legal and, and, and business side of things. What do you think about the schedule? 20 years as a physician in the military, and I retired as a lieutenant colonel. Linda Brown, who opened a soul food cafe in New York City just a few months ago, was also able to take advantage of those services. They really led us and guided us through the maze of all of the legalities of opening up a business. According to the Small Business Administration, nearly one in 10 small businesses in the U.S. are veteran owned, generating over $1 trillion in sales. Veterans are also about 45 percent more likely to be self-employed than non-veterans. Veterans have so much to bring to the economy and to the workforce. Law firms, consulting firms, accountants can bring one-on-one -on -one technical advice to, uh, to veterans who are starting new businesses. Linda's advice for veterans looking to take on a new challenge after transitioning to civilian life. You have to have a really good business plan. Stick nice. to it. You can do it. You can do it. You really can. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dina Gosofsky.